great to take 15 years off your appearance, 15 years without even having to go under the knife. Dr. Steve Jepson with the Utah Dermatologic and Medical Procedure Clinic is here to tell us it can be done, right? Absolutely can most, be done. Most people would think you have to have a facelift, you're going to be cutting, you're going to be sewing, you're going to be doing stuff. You don't right. have to do that, right? You don't have to do that. We have facial fillers that do an outstanding job at restoring volume loss and filling in deep wrinkles in your face. And by injecting these fill fillers, it really can take 10, 15 years off your appearance. If someone were to come into you and say, I want one of those fa filler things you were talking about, what are the names of those so they sound intelligent? They can the two most common ones that I use are called Restylane and then another one called Radius. I like to use Restylane for filling in lips, doing lip augmentation. I think it was popular years ago to have collagen lip injections. Now we use Restylane instead because it lasts a lot longer. And then for deep wrinkles in the face, I use something called Radius. Now this is literally some kind of like material you inject under the skin. How exactly does it work? These are natural materials that are found in your body anyway. They're just kind of synthetically made. Radius is made out of calcium hydroxyapatite, so it's a calcium type type product and it's in a gel form and it comes in a syringe and you just inject it through a needle right under the wrinkle. So one of the most common places that we do radius is the wrinkles out through here and we just stick a needle right under that wrinkle and fill that wrinkle out and it's gone. See you don't really have any wrinkles. I have a little darker lines there but you, you could just take and put the needle like right in where that wrinkle is right there. Just inject the needle right under there and it pulls that wrinkle right out and it's gone and it's amazing what getting rid of those deep lines around the mouth does in terms of making you look a lot younger. So there's an ex a perfect example of what we're talking about. She has those wrinkles on the on the outside of her mouth and between her nose and mouth and just by filling those out makes a huge difference in terms of, of her appearance and making her look so much younger. And she probably, or some people might think, I need a facelift to pull that skin up. A facelift would not have done what just this would have done. A facelift won't fix that. A facelift is great if you've got a lot of sagging skin along your jawline. Um, fillers can't fix that. But if you have areas of volume loss and deep wrinkling, fillers will fill that in and make those go away and make you look a lot younger. Another really popular place to do that is in the marionette lines below the mouth. And I think there should be a picture here somewhere of that as well. The ones that go from the corner of your mouth down the by your chin. The ones that go from the corner ones. of your mouth down. And you can fill those in and, and make people look, yeah, that's a great example there, those deep lines underneath her mouth. Again, you could, a facelift wouldn't really necessarily correct those because you have to pull a lot of skin back in order to get rid of those wrinkles and pulling a lot of skin back makes the face look unnatural. By just filling those wrinkles in, we haven't done anything majorly aggressive. It just gets rid of those wrinkles and makes her look so much younger. And, and that's, I think, an important point of this is this is easy. It takes 20 minutes to do this under local anesthesia with maybe a minimal amount of bruising and a minimal amount of redness and it'll take the years off just like that. A regular facelift, conventional, running like close to ten thousand yes. dollars, it's a big a big kind of, you know, operation. Oh, general anesthesia, lots of risk associated with that, but this is an in-office procedure very simple to do. Cost on this would be more in the hundreds range, right? In the hundreds rather than in the thousands. And, uh, and, the, and the short time frame we were talking about, and there are relatively few complications that can happen with this. Bruising, swelling and then it lasts about a year and a half. Some people will get two years. Um, that's uh, I think a nice advantage of it because it, it's something that you can repeat if you like it. If you don't like it you don't have to repeat it. We have but pretty much everybody that does this we see them back about a year and a half later because they want to do it again. I can imagine. Dr. Steve Jepson with the Utah Dermatologic and Medical Procedure Clinic. If people want more information how do they get a hold of you? 281-0022 or on our website utahlasermd.com.